Before meiosis begins, in the preceding interphase, DNA replication takes place. At this point, the chromosomes are not condensed and are not visible under a light microscope. However, we depict them in a condensed manner so that you can see that the cell replicates each chromosome to form two chromatids. Meiosis consists of two cell divisions, meiosis I and II. As the diploid cell enters the first phase of meiosis I, called prophase I, its chromatin condenses into discrete chromosomes. The cell has two centrosomes, which form the mitotic spindle as the centrosomes migrate to opposite poles of the cell. This diploid cell contains homologous chromosomes, which pair up later in prophase I. One chromosome in each pair is maternally derived, indicated by blue, and one is paternally derived, indicated by red. The pairing is called synapsis. At this time as well, the nuclear envelope breaks down. Late in prophase I, the homologous chromosomes exchange genetic material, as indicated by crossing over points called chiasmata. Recombinant chromatids consist of both maternally and paternally derived DNA. In this phase, microtubules attach to the chromosomes, directing them to the equatorial plate. At metaphase I, homologous chromosomes have lined up on the equatorial plate in a pairwise fashion, with one homolog on either side of the plate. Note that the chromosomes assort independently. For example, the maternal chromosomes align randomly, not necessarily on the same side of the plate. During anaphase I, chromosomes from each pair move to opposite poles of the cell. The centromeres of the chromosomes do not divide, so each chromosome still consists of two sister chromatids, which now may not be genetically identical due to crossing over. In some species, telophase I occurs, a stage in which chromosomes decondense, nuclear membranes reform, and the cytoplasm divides in a process called cytokinesis. A short interphase period called interkinesis may then follow telophase I. Note that DNA replication does not take place during interkinesis. During the second half of meiosis, in prophase II, the chromatin again condenses into discrete chromosomes. There are now only a haploid number of chromosomes per cell. Each chromosome consists of two chromatids joined together by a centromere. At metaphase II, the chromosomes have lined up on the equatorial plate. Microtubules from opposite poles attach to each sister chromatid of a chromosome. During anaphase II, the centromeres divide, and both chromatids become independent chromosomes and move to opposite poles of the cell. During telophase II, chromosomes again decondense and nuclear membranes reform. Depending on the species, cytokinesis may occur.